What's up my Sentry unit? It's the Sentry Man here, so back again with another episode review of South Park, Series 19, Episode 5. The title of this episode is called Safe Space. It's all about social media and fat shaming and mental health. This episode is a bit of a downgrade than the last episode, you know, you're not yelping episode from Episode 4. Um, this episode had some bright spots, but um, I think this was a forgettable episode for me. It's right down the middle. I don't say it was a terrible episode, but at the same time, wasn't fantastic. But right down the middle, like I said. Um, so this episode started when Cartman got uh, fat shamed because he posted a photo on Twitter, him wearing his underpants. You know, the Americans call it underwear. So it's, it's back and forth between underwear and underpants. So. Um, he's wearing his underpants slash underwear while holding two dumbbells. You had like, uh, there's one scene with uh, Clyde and Craig basically took a picture of Cartman wearing his underwear, holding two dumbbells, and then all of a sudden he's got fat shaming, you know, because he's not buff, he's fat. Um, and he's crying towards the PC principal and Mr. Mackey. And Mackey has a good point, you know. Maybe you shouldn't uh, to put the picture up of you wearing your underwear on social media. And and basically the PC principal says, you know, you got a fucking problem, bro. Because body shaming is serious, you know. You can not tolerate with body shaming, you know. And then you got, like, uh, Buzz doing his work. You know, basically he's sending comments, some positive comments, you know, on his social media sites. And, wow, it's also focused on butters, you know, you can tell, like, yeah, it is covering, you know, body shaming and fat shaming on social media, but at the same time, it's covering, like, uh, mental health. You can tell, like, um, Butters' mental health completely deteriorate in this episode because he's sorting out of uh, Cartman's social media so platform, you know, basically, like, sending him, like, some good feedback instead of the, um, the negative com comments. And then he's helping Demi Lovato. I don't know why. I think people. I think the show's kind of like shit on Demi Lovato because she's not that person. Don't deserve to be shit on. You know, like she's one of the best singers. You know, if you type in Demi Lovato sing without order to, you know, you can tell like wow, she is talented. You know, she had some like health problems in the past. I think like in recent years she had a, like a heart attack. I ever saw the documentary. I think she had an alcohol problem, um, you know, recently, you know, in recent years, but, um, it's on YouTube, the documentary of Demi Lovato, it's not on Netflix, or Amazon Prime, you know, Prime Videos, or Disney Plus, or the Apple Plus, you know, or, or every, or different type of streaming app, no, it's on YouTube, just type in Demi Lovato documentary, you probably find it, so, you know, she's not really, she's not really fat, she's, you know, hot, you know, and also, they were picking on, you know, making fun of Finn Diesel and Steven Seagal. You know, Steven Seagal is doing, you know, he's doing the same thing as Cartman. Like, the, you know, he's also got picked on on social media. I think someone, someone called him, like, Steven Sububu or Subumbum, whatever he says. You know, he got, you know, he's dancing called, I think he's dancing music called um, Got To Be Real by Cheryl Lynn. I think it was funny. It's one of the bright spots of this episode. Um. Anyway, uh, Randy's got bullied in this episode by this um shopkeeper who works at Whole Foods because he's not really um uh the one to give a lot of money to charity. You know, he's not the one to do charity. You know, basically giving money, but um he, he's getting picked on. Um, it's just like um Phil Sofa. Randy's just got picked on. He just wanna don't wanna give money. For charity, for food, you know, you just want to go to Whole Foods, just shop and just just shop and you know and lift on and carry on with his day. But instead, he's got picked on by this shopkeeper because you just want bully him for money for charity. And also, there's one episode of not one episode, but one scene in this episode. Um, you got this shopkeep holding this hamster because he's not going to college. <laughs> you know, it's just like what the hell, um. So it's, it's it's one it's one is there it's one scene like you got like Randy with uh Finn Diesel and Steven Seagal. I think after I think it's at this time period, uh Finn Diesel was 
got getting picked on on social media because there was one scene he's wearing a top he's all flabby in fact you know he's, he's in good shape because he's in, he's in sh a lot of shape in the action movies whether it's the the fast and furious movies or any type of different projects you know but i see that's like picture when Finn diesel is flabby and fat out of shape but um oh yeah in that one in in that one scene like um you know, with Randy, with Finn Diesel and Steven Seagal, you got like this guy. You know, the shopkeep says this. Uh, this picky went to market. This picky went to home. This picky was in Fast and the Furious, and this picky went to direct. You know, went to direct. He basically went to direct cable. Basically, like um, because he you know he t craps on um Finn Diesel because he was in you know the Fast and the Furious movie, and then. With Seagal, he's not, uh, you know, he's not in the silver screen anymore, you know, I feel sorry, you know, it's just what it is, you know. So, yeah, Seagal's not really a big star, he's not like a big star like, um, a Schwarzenegger, a Stallone, um, Van, you can say Van Damme, you know, he was in the silver screen, but he got kicked out, you know, barely booted to DVD, you know, direct to cable. You know, I think he did television movies, uh, Stephen Seagal, he did the same thing, like DVDs and direct to TV movies. Um, yeah, he's on the same, not on the same level as Stallone, Schwarzenegger, Van Damme, uh, Bruce Willis, Tom Cruise, uh, The Rock, you know, Dwayne Johnson, the list goes on and on and on, um, Chuck Norris, anyway, so, and there was this one scene, like, you know, he managed to, I think he did, did want charity, or, you know, he planned to, uh, give, uh, he managed to give a dollar, and he got, like, and he's wearing, you know, he, you know, you got like, like alarms uh, playing, and you know, and also the clerk put Randy on a T-shirt says he joins like a, a million, a, a one dollar club. Took a picture of him and stuck his picture on the wall. It's like I don't know, because he gave um charity, you know, and also he and also a lot of adverts of Randy doing charity. I don't know. I think it's a bit of a propaganda in this episode. There's more propaganda in the in the further episodes in the in the the final two episodes of the series. So. So and also, yeah. Um, you got this one gag with the PC principal picking on Leslie because Leslie, um, whispered to this girl's ear. You know this is the you know because the the girl was wearing the pink dress. You know and the PC principal. You know because because basically you got uh Stephen Zagal is the the guest in the school. Talking about fat shaming, and then you know, and PC principal said to Leslie, "Hey, Leslie, shut your fucking mouth." And also in the ninja episode, you know, he po she, he point the laser towards you know the forehead of Leslie. I don't know this. I think that I'll, I'll explain in the final two episodes of the series or three episodes of the series. Well, that'll be later on. You know, like I said, because this week I'm covering not just one episode but two episodes of this series of South Park. I'm trying to wrap it up before the month is out. Anyway, um, so. So, they did. You know, the reason why I like Series 19, they focus on musical numbers. South Park doesn't really do that a lot. You know, that's more Family Guy. Family, family Guy does a lot. Of, you know, Family Guy, American Dad, they always do, like, musical numbers. You know, South Park, Simpsons. They do it sometimes. They don't focus on that, but, um, I really like this series, you know. They focus on more on musical numbers, like, um,. You got the PC song, you know, then you got Where's My Country Gone, the last one was Bookers and Come, you got Safe Space, um, and yeah, you got like, um, you can call them musical numbers, you, you know, they're not really sung by, you know, the South Park creators, the, you know, they had, um, The Book of Love by Peter Gabriel, and then, uh, Fuck the Police by the NWA, or get to, you know, get to those episodes, you know, next time, anyway, so, I, you know, it's all about, um, you know, safe, about people, safe, safe space is all about a song about, you know, you know, you don't care about, you know, you might, you're in my safe space, bad stuff doesn't happen to you, but, you know, you, like, was it, but, was it called, um, you know, like, was it troll safe doors, bulletproof win yeah, bulletproof windows, and troll safe, uh, doors, yeah, troll safe sto uh, doors, sorry, I'm stumbling, but, um, anyway, so you got this, um, <laughs> guy called, reality um he's basically self-proclaimed the villain in this episode i said to myself is he a parody of dick dastardly without muttley you know if you watch um the wacky races and 
uh, was it Stop the Pigeon, you know, it's, um, it's, yeah, you know, uh, what's his name, uh, Dick Dastley, you know, it, it reminds me of Dick Dastley, you know, you know, you know, because Dick Dastley was purple, he, he's like this type of villain from the Victorian time, instead of Muttley, you know, instead of like Dick Dastley, because Dick Dastley's, like, like, obsession is winning a race and stopping a pigeon, you know, yeah, go watch, go watch, um, the old, uh, don't, don't watch the new Wacky Races show, that, I think that was shit, but I watched the, um, the old, the old Wacky Races show, and it even, like, um, Stop the Pigeon, you know, that was a good show, because, and people say, oh, how do you know that, because it's all your time, so I'm Boomerang, you know, Boomerang shows some repeats, man, but, um, anyway, so he's kind of like this villain, um, you can tell, like, this, you know, uh, like, from minutes ago, I talked about Buzz, mental health, kind of, like, declining a bit, because he was focused on, other people's social media sites, and, you know, there's one scene with, uh, boys with fat chicks, um, but, um, you know, you can tell he was so, um, you know, his mental illness, his really mental, mental health, sorry, I'm stumbling, but, uh, his mental health, god damn it, his mental illness is kind of declined, sorry, I'm trying to get my words out, um, kind of declined throughout this episode, and he saw reality going to his, um, bedroom, he said, you're gonna kill me, you little shit, I'm gonna kill you, he said, the man is coming, the man is coming, um, you can tell he's, he, he doesn't have any sleep, because sometimes it's, like, without any sleep, it's really ruins your mental health, and then he's, like, there's one scene, uh, you can't really, I can't show you Buzz naked, because I'm gonna get, this channel's, uh, this video's gonna get taken down if I show Buzz naked, but he was completely naked, showing, like, the, the man is coming, the man is coming, and then he's run towards the kindergarten, um, class. Says, run it alive, you little fuckers, the man is coming. And also you got, like, Stan, Kyle, Kenny, David. I don't know why they put, bring David, you know, into this episode. He's kind of, at this moment in time, he's more of a background character. I said it, I said it, I said it in my previous episode review of, you know, the You're Not Yelping episode that, um, they don't know what they do with him. I think he's just a background character at this moment in time, but, um... Um, and boys end up jumping out of the window, and then I think the next few ep throughout the rest of this series, Buzz wearing a neck halo. I think he like injured his neck because he took a nasty bump out of the um the window. I feel sorry for Buzz's man. I think he took a double whammy in this episode. Um, because if he if he's not doing it, you know, do, not doing Carmen's job, like sorting out the other uh, his social media comments, you know, the positive comments on his social media site. He end up getting detention. Also, I think Buzz said in the beginning, start of this episode, like if he get detention, he parent, his parent might get be grounded. You know, yeah, he took a double whammy. And also, funny that like when Kyle and Wendy refused to um help Carmen, you know, sort out the um his social media comment, you know, his comments on the sort on his Twitter account, he end up getting detention. And 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 also, Kyle has a, a good point. You know, he said if you, if so if he if he doesn't really like what people say on Twitter. He must get off, you know, you know, he's got a point, you know, and, and they, they just say, oh, just give me, you know, Kyle says, just give me a detention, and, you know, and, you know, PC principal says, yo, that's two days detention for you, you know, he said it in the, um, in the, uh, Stunning and Brave episode, you know, that's two days detention, we see you at four, and that's two days detention, congratulations, you know, <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, you know, when, but, yeah, when, when Kyle says no, he got detention, when Wendy, you know, says no, it goes, People don't understand, people don't know, yeah, Carmen's biggest rivalry in the show was Kyle, you know, but his second one was Wendy Tesserberger, you know, great example, go and watch the breast cancer sh uh, episode, you know, the breast cancer show episode, when basically, yeah, you know, because Wendy um, basically wants to fight Carmen, and Carmen backs out because, you know, he end up getting his ass kicked by Wendy, but in the end of this episode, he got his ass kicked by Wendy, am I review si si series 12 in the future, but, um, series 12 for me was a shit episode, um, not shit episode, but series, a shit season, you know, it's a weaker, you know, it's been worse ones, but I think it's one of the, wor not one of the worst, but kind of like one of the forgettable episodes, uh, series, so sorry, <laughs> series episodes, but, um, yeah, they just end up declining, uh, in an, I felt sorry for Buzz, he took a double whammy, because if he's not doing it, he get detention, but at the same time, you can tell his mental health is declining, because all he's doing, like, doing Cartman's work, you know, and Demi's work, any type of, like, people, Vin Diesel, because they're getting fat shamed, or 
body shame, and he ended up getting hurt by by reality. So, I think. Um, and also, yeah, let's talk, let's talk about reality. I, I think he, I don't know, he's a, he's a parody of Dick Dastley from the cartoon from the 1960s or 70s. He ended up, like, going into a, you know, the, there also, like, this banquet, a fundraiser about, was it body shaming or, you know, a lot of adverts, you know, of, like, um, was it starving children? You know, you can see the picture right now. Uh, I don't know, it's... Is is Randy's in another country or the different parts of America? I don't know, but um, yeah, reality. You know when you know went to the banquet, crash the part, trying to crash the um the banquet. You know the fat fundraiser. There's one scene like reality. So like, I think he knocked um like one table. Basically, he's knocking like other people's wine glasses and you know throwing flowers. <laughs> you know, and you got like you got like Seagal trying to sh- friends shooting, and then reality says fuck. Yeah, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. And also, he's speaking the truth about you in denial. You know, not all everyone is um a liberal. Not everything's a liberal um camp artist campus. You're basically, he's saying you're living in denial. You know what you and instead of how Buzz might die. He didn't really name drop Buzz because the, the boy you know you neglect is about to die because he's pulling through. He's went through that shit, man. But um, feel sorry and you see Buzz. On life supports, you know, he didn't die, you know. That be if they kill Buzz, man, that'd be fucking stupid because Buzz is one of my one of my favorite uh, characters on the show, and also he was speaking the truth, and and they end up doing another advert, you know, you know, giving you know the staff and children some iPads. Yeah, what's that accomplished? You know, I think it, this is kind of like propaganda. Um, in this episode, um, there's no propaganda in the in the probably in. Episode eight and episode nine, episode ten. I'll get to those episodes in the future, but um, and it, it's really funny that in the end of this episode, reality got hanged and everyone's just celebrating. But he's speaking the truth because these people are in the wrong. Because like, if you don't like someone else, you know, having if you have a problem with social media, you just get off. But they in they're in denial. Um, <clears throat> they're in they're in denial. You know, and the one there's one of the lyrics in the. Safe space song, um. Randy says you can call me a pussy, but you cannot hear me in my space space. You know, safe safe space song. <laughs> yeah, you know, but um, you know, it's just like um, because I've, they're in denial because they can't re- set reality. They can't set you know, they they just basically cannot reset you know the things they say on social media. You know, I'm gonna say again, like like I said, Randy says in that song, like. You can call me a pussy, but you cannot hear me in my safe space. Um. Um. Yeah. Um. So I think I covered most of it. Um. Yeah, I think I did. Yeah. That, and yeah. This. Um. Yeah. This. The shark kid was a bit of a, a bully to us, Randy, because I think let's plan the scenes of Randy wants to leave South Park. I don't know. I would get to. I'll, you like as I'll get to that. Uh, later in the future episodes of this series. So anyway, uh, I think yeah, like I said, it was an okay episode. He has some bright spots, but for me, I think it's one of the weakest, one of the forgettable episodes of the show. I think, like, um, I don't think, yeah, this season so far has been, I think it's been a good season. I think it's one of my, I think it's the last good ones in the recent years of South Park. But, um, I think this episode is just, like, met to me. It's more like you take it or leave it. Some funny moments, but I think it's just pff, okay for what it is. Not terrible, What wasn't bad. You know, I, I'd rather I'd rather skip this. So, anyway, so I hope you enjoyed my review of South Park. Like I said, I'm covering episode six. Episode six is all about tweaking Craig. We'll get to that in the end of this week. But uh, meanwhile, so yeah, I hope you enjoy. Hope you enjoy my review of series ninety in episode five. Episode of review of South Park. Leave your thoughts on such below. Smash the like button. Click the bell. Join the central unit today. If you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel for more wrestling videos and more. And this is Sanchi Man officially signing out. Check you later.